Burrow Komodo backstage with Clay Guido, who just picked up his first victory in 355 days, and I didn't know that stat. That that was delivered to me by Clay just now. So you were uh, you were feeling like it had like it had been a while before you got your hand raised, huh? It's been a long time. 355 days since our last uh, victory, man. I had to toughen up since hockey season, man. Happy Gilmore, all those Happy Gilmore fans out there. Some of us on the outside would would, would seem, I, I think, might think that you've been doing this for a long time. So you get used to like highs, lows. You get used to not having a win for 355 days. Is that yeah. is that true? Yeah, you, you were kind of used to it. Like you were able to, to take it in stride more. That's a good point. I hate to say it, but something it goes by like a blink of an eye in yeah. sports, in wrestling, in MMA. You have to have a short-term memory. You have to be able to look past, get over those peaks, those valleys, those in-betweens, and uh, move on to the next one, man. That's what you know. Winners are all about. Put those behind you. Use them as learning uh, skills, and just move on to the next one. And that's what we did against a very tough skilled opponent man is uh in, in scotty holtzman yeah is it is it are the wins more how do they compare to earlier in your career as far as just satisfying getting your hand raised how does it compare to early on it gets better every time obviously um i always remember my ufc debut way back for those ufc mma buffs back at ufc 64 unstoppable rich franklin versus the coming of anderson silva um october 14 2006 so a long long time ago but this one is just as sweet as that, and they get better every time, man. Every time I'm able to get in there and compete and be healthy and do what I love, that to me is what it's all about. And, um, you know, we're just happy to go out there and enjoy the sport and put on a show for the fans. Finally, I was like a, a rabid uh, caveman in there. I haven't fought in front of a capacity crowd in a uh, full four-fight contract plus one fight. It's been five fights in, uh, yeah, 2000 when I fought Jim Miller and he put me to sleep, unfortunately for the first time, 2019 was the last time we fought in front of a full capacity arena. So this, this one felt really, really good, man. Yeah. It, were you at all, I mean, you're, you've been doing this forever and you're a ball of energy and you, you dance your way to the octagon every time, but did you have to tell yourself like, hey, when you see the crowd finally, I know you've been waiting for that big time to like, hey, save some energy for the fight was there any kind of consideration for that <laughs> well you know what our coach joey rodriguez he's the one that tells us he knows how to you know keep the reins on me to lasso me back back in the locker room we had a great warm-up and i was bouncing off the walls jamming our boy darren elkins big one man he's tough as nails so i was jamming damage incorporated mm -hmm. for metallica in his honor and we were just raging back there metallica and then coach joey had to kind of pull me back and say hey man save some for the octagon save some for fight night let's go you've been done this before you know what I mean? We gotta, we're gonna unleash you like a, you know, a rabid hyena. So, you know, they know how to gauge me back there. And uh, man, we put it all out there. And Scotty Holtzman is a very, very legit opponent. And it was an honor to share his last fight. And I'm bummed that they didn't give him an interview after he hung up the gloves and you know, set him out there in the octagon. It was great to share the cage with such a great competitor. Definitely. So you knew the, the exact amount of number of days since your last win. Do you know how many takedowns you have now in the UFC? I'm not sure, man, but I hope we're getting close to the top, dude. Um, Past Frankie Edgar and Demetrius Johnson tonight. How does that feel? Uh, that feels amazing, dude. You know what? Two legends, two instant Hall of Famers. Frankie Edgar was one of our heroes. Um, his dad, rest in peace. Mr. Edgar was a man. Uh, you know, you talk about Rutgers wrestling. You talk about, all as I say, wrestling is life all the time. Um, to, you know, be in their footsteps in the same conversation as one of the greatest of all time and Demetrius Johnson. To me, that's awesome. And one of my goals in the UFC as a junior college wrestler, never made it to nationals, never did anything in wrestling, was to have some of the most takedowns. So we're climbing that ladder because I believe the great one, George St. Pierre, has the most, I think, with like 84, 85. Or He's got 90, Clay. 90. Oh, I got a ways to go still. All right, well, hey, we're climbing that ladder. And um, also my next uh, next thing I want to do is have the most fights in the UFC. So Jim Miller, uh, another badass competitor, as uh, we're going to be trying to get up there with him as well, man. So we, I got a few more things I got to do in this uh, in the sport. You need 15 to pass GSP. How many fights do you need to, to get 15? You never know, man. <laughs> you let a guy stand up and then take him back down. Put, put a wrestling clinic. <laughs> on but um but well i still got some time brad i'd like to bring this up too that fight was awesome but guys there's a bigger fight going on in south florida right now in the town that i just moved to a couple years ago uh cape coral fort myers bonita springs bonita beach sanibel island the barrier islands north captiva captiva island as you guys may know or may not know got wiped out by hurricane ian uh on september 28th and so i wasn't there i was actually in training camp and i was watching it on tv as my parents were in it my brother is in it family friends loved ones were in the hurricane so i wasn't able to be there for the repairs so i recreated uh, these shirts these fight for florida shirts and you can get them online at uh, convictedprinting.com we've teamed up with the ufc we've teamed up with gills and throws of guida my fishing guide service and the wrestling is life foundation and banner sports to create these shirts guys 
25 bucks, um, a large pr a portion of proceeds are gonna go to the first responders and these families that lost nearly everything. My parents' house is wrecked. Uh, one of my houses is, is in sad shape, but uh, it's more about the people that really, really need it. So everything helps, guys. We really appreciate it. And uh, everything is, uh, that's the real fight we're focused on right now. So yeah. well, that's an awesome message, man. Thank you for, for doing that. And best of luck with your, your family's house and, you. and yours and, uh, and, and obviously with that movement. And congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. It's an honor, guys. Thank you. Appreciate Wrestling is life. Come for the gills, stay for the thrills. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.